guys, Naturalist Rochelle here from Wingfoot Lake State Park and today I'm going to go back and explore the woods again and this time I'm going to take a few items that will help me explore the woods and you can find these items around your house such as Tupperwares and bins. Um, I like to recycle so I've actually recycled some bins. These are awesome. I can catch frogs, I can catch salamanders, bugs, you name it. I can catch it and I can put it in here and then I can look at it containers are awesome to have because believe it or not our hands contain salt and oils and they're really really warm so when we do catch frogs or salamanders we can actually hurt them by holding on to them so a better way to observe our friends that we just caught is to put them inside a container and again these things are always around my house I don't know about yours but it's a great way of putting that little friend of yours in there and you can get a closer look at them without hurting them. As a naturalist, I actually have to have a permit that I have through Ohio Division of Wildlife, which allows me to keep the animals that I have at my nature center. So please remember that it is okay to look at our friends, but just put them back because just like you, they don't want to be kept inside. Spring pool, I've discovered wood frog eggs, which have hatched and have become tadpoles. So we're going to scoop down in here and get some right in our handy dandy container. And believe it or not, inside there, you can see the egg mass still. It's like that jelly and lots of tadpoles swimming in there. So what I like to do is I lift it up and I use the sun as a light source. So now you can see all those little tadpoles in there swimming. How cool is a wood frog that for some odd reason did not make it. Either it got too cold during one of the cold snaps or maybe something tried to catch it and didn't catch it but injured it enough for it to die later on. Um, also inside there that little squiggly thing down here by my thumb that was a mosquito larvae. Um, they're producing big time right now. We also have mayflies that are emerging from the water and we can actually see one by the top of the frog right there. That's the exoskeleton from their molt. They live in the water as juvenile and then emerge as adults as flies. Vernal pools can also be home to other animals such as chipmunks. And on this uprooted tree, you can actually see a hole inside this mossy area. And most likely this is going to be a chipmunk hole. And chipmunks are really unique as they will actually carry the dirt in their mouth, run across the forest floor and spit the dirt out. They do this so nobody can see where the hole is. It kind of vanishes in the hillside or in your yard per se. Now, what a beautiful location that this chipmunk or these chipmunks have chosen. I mean, talk about waterfront access. I'm Naturalist Rochelle, and thanks for watching. For more videos like this, please follow our Ohio State Parks Facebook page.